Kroger now has a line outside of its store for people to stand in as the grocery chain tries to limit the number of customers inside. I don't go to many places. The only place I go is grocery shopping. Pushing carts with gloved hands and browsing aisles behind masks. Customers at the Mount Washington Kroger say they're just here for the essentials. Cat food is one thing. And I got eggs, milk, yogurt. Well, I actually came in looking for things like hand sanitizer and things like that. They didn't have any, so I picked up milk and tea and some dog treats for my dog. There's more meat, milk, and frozen items on the shelves than in past weeks. And with the exception of paper items like toilet paper, Kroger has stopped limiting how many high-demand products customers can buy. The shelves aren't as bare. Nita Reed is shopping for her elderly parents. Because I'd rather be come than them get out and be out in all this. Kroger has hired more than 2,000 new employees in Kentucky over the past three weeks to keep up with demand. The grocery chain has added plexiglass partitions to the checkout counters and is only allowing between 15 and 30 percent of a store's customer capacity in at one time. One of our associates is metering them in, so counting folks that are coming in the door and then as they exit. Some stores are making aisles one way, and most are seeing a large increase in the number of pickup orders. Kroger has increased employees' hourly wages by $2 for the month of April. It's called a hero bonus, which customers agree is appropriate. I appreciate everything they do. It's awesome. And we talk about our first responders and our hospital people, which are, are priceless, but if these guys weren't here working, we'd really be hurting. Denny Camper, WLKY News.